All right, today I am gonna take a look at Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. Um, this has been on the market for several years now. And uh, the cool thing about Brown Foreman, and a lot of people don't know this, is that they have their own cooperage, meaning they are one of the very few large scale whiskey producers that make uh, the majority, if not all of their own barrels. So <clears throat> they've got dedicated, um, multiple dedicated cooperages uh, all over the place, including one actually in Indiana. So uh, all the all the wood used for all of the Brown Foreman whiskeys, including Jack Daniels, Woodford Reserve, etc., cetera, um, they all come from their own specifications. Now, the other big distilleries have um, long relationships and large contracts going back a long time with Independent Stave, Kelvin Cooperage, several others, but really Brown Foreman is the one that, that has the most sort of flexibility, I think, and expertise in the use of wood with their barrels. So when Woodford Reserve comes out with a double oaked, it's not just a gimmick. I mean, they really spend a lot of time uh, at the Cooperage. They know the wood. They know the right wood to pick out. They're they're all in their own lots. They, they can select from how long it's, it's dry age to char and toast levels, you know, really everything um, uh, at, at whatever scale they want to do uh, finished whiskeys like this. So it's definitely something that when Double Oak came out, you go, okay, it's Brown Foreman. You got to take this seriously. Uh, these guys know what they're doing with Oak. So let's dig right into it. Um, so right off the bat, um, I get a big hit of like a double brown sugar, which I always get with Brown Foreman. There's a molasses note here. There's kind of a dusty, sweet oak, kind of like oak shavings almost, like a like a something something you would smell if you open the door to like a woodworking shop, and that and somebody had been working on like a piece of oak furniture, and there were like shavings, and it was just sort of dust, and it was in the air, and it was on the floor. You just had that aroma. Yeah, and then there's that molasses note, and there's it's it's almost uh, reminiscent of like a, a sorghum, which is a very earthy, sweet smell. It's got a very earthy, sweet, and dusty oak aroma. That's the best way I can describe wood for double oak. And it's almost like, um, there's definitely like a toasted marshmallow aroma here. Um, we're about to get into like s'more season in the fall. So if you are happen to be making s'mores with your kids or whatever, uh, smell like a burnt marshmallow or just a toasted, a perfectly brown toasted marshmallow and have a bottle of this double oak next to you, you will pick it up, I promise. And a little bit of licorice. So there's just a little bit of like a sweet licorice note to go with the molasses and the oak shavings. Okay. Let's take a sip. Very sweet. That toasted marshmallow really is on the palate. Um, there's spice. There's like a toffee pudding. There's like vanilla bean. This is definitely a dessert whiskey. It's got all these like earthy, rich, sweet notes to it, but it's got that nice sort of layer of that toasted marshmallow and oak on top of it, kind of campfire remnant. So to me, this whiskey does two things, kind of twofold. It's got, um, it's got like snifter, like you want to put this in a cognac snifter and have it as a dessert whiskey, but it is also equally at home with like a barbecue. So you can pour this over the rocks, you can throw lemonade on it, uh, and it will taste fantastic if you're doing like barbecue meats because it just has that, that like crystallized, burnt sugar, toasted thing going on as well. And I credit that second barrel for it. Um, and that second barrel is not over oaking it, it is adding that top note, it is adding that richness it is adding that toasted marshmallow to it. It's really delicious, fantastic whiskey. And I think finished whiskeys can be tough. 
oftentimes they taste more like the thing they're finished in than the original whiskey and I look at that as a failure and I don't think this is a failure I think this is a perfect improvement or a, a perfect riff on what original Woodford Reserve is which is a sweet whiskey to begin with um, and the, the only note that this kind of blunts in a regular Woodford is a little bit of that spice note it just takes that spice note and turns it into a toasted marshmallow so if you're a fan of s'mores if you're a fan of oak if you're a fan of a, of a fantastic whiskey, uh, then you've got to try Woodford Double Oak and put this, put this bottle in your rotation because it's something totally different for your palate. Uh, and even though it's very unique, it's not a gimmick, it's really tasty. All right, cheers.